What's up guys, JFM here, welcome back, today I join you on a very, very gloomy day for another episode of the Survival Let's Play, and today I have something super important to do, I am going to be playing around with redstone, I know you guys absolutely love it when I do this, so I am going to be making an epic contraption today, hopefully you guys will enjoy, if you're looking forward to it, please go ahead and smash that like button below, let's kick off today and uh, show you guys the to-do list. So there is only one thing on the to-do list today and that is to make an automatic chicken cooking or meat cooking farm and I cannot wait to do it. No, it's gonna be like an auto cooker so it's gonna be pretty fun. Now if you guys did miss the last few episodes this is what we finished up. We finished up the uh, the hot dog stand place, no concession stand <laughs> for the theater and uh, basically from now on Tiger is gonna be taking the orders now it looks as if he's kind of shy he's sticking his head in the counter but uh, we've got the nice popcorn machine uh, very 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 cool we've got the fruit punch the carbonated fruit punch and we've also got a nice fridge uh, that I can dispense stuff out of which is pretty awesome so that is that build there now today I wanted to make a chicken cooking kind of deal and um, the easiest spot I thought made the most sense was over here all the way back uh, in the blacksmith because I'm thinking you cook a lot of things in the blacksmith so why not oh we also got to cook up this uh, cook up this here spider <laughs> um, so yeah we cook up a lot of stuff back here so why not add a nice little auto kind of system thingy back here so I'll try it out I don't know exactly how I want to do this but I will give it my all that is for sure so what if we were to make the chests at the bottom of this cooker down here? What if we were to do that? Then you would put the chicken in up there or go through all the cooking ba Oh, I like that idea a lot. Let's see if we can do this. So what I'm gonna have to do is carve out a little bit of an area over here and uh, we'll get this thing started. Change of plans. I think it would actually look cooler if I, if I do it up here. I don't know why, I just wanna give it a go. So basically the input is gonna be right behind here. The output, however, if you go all the way downstairs, it should be somewhere out, maybe right here on the side. That would be very cool. Let's try that. Let's see if we can get that done. Or maybe this side. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I gotta carve up some space, though, so we can get to work. So it all starts with a chest. Now, I think I want the chest to be placed right there. And then what I want to do is put a hopper on underneath it. So let's go ahead and carve out an area for us to get down there. And I will put the hopper, the first hopper, out of many, I think, right under it. Now, this is where the tricky part comes in. I'm gonna need to find a way to add coal to this system somehow. So this is the chicken input. I guess I can have a coal input uh, down, mm, where do I do that? Where would I do that? So this would be where I put the chicken in. I guess I could put the coal in over here. Or, ah, I can make it more symmetrical and the chicken goes in here and the coal goes in here. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, we'll do that, we'll do that. So this is what it'll look like from an outside perspective. I like that a little better. So now what we need to do is we need to place hoppers under both of these mechanisms and somehow bring them down to a uh, single furnace where all of the items will go. And now it's time to go get some food. A lunch break is in order. I definitely need to chow down on something. Please tell me I have something down here. I, I, <laughs> I think I'm completely out of everything. Oh, what a shame. Okay, well, I probably have some plants in here to eat. Yes, I do. Oh, I can bake up some potatoes. All right, we can definitely do that. And what else should I bring along with me? Let's also bring along these carrots. And I also may as well get rid of some of this extra stuff I have in my inventory that I'm carrying around. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Thinking ahead, in this build, I'll probably need a few more chests and then I'll get a bit more iron just so I can make some more hoppers. All I need is maybe a furnace. Yeah, 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 a furnace or two should be good and maybe a dispenser. So I'll need to go grab a bow and, uh, well, no, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I need a dispenser for this one. No, we'll just leave it be. We'll just leave it be with what we have here. Now, I quickly will cook up a few of these bumpin' potatoes. And, uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> we should be good to go, and I want to put some more of this away while I'm over here, including some of this glowstone and all this other stuff. More item frames, perhaps? We will need these along the journey, so I'll have to eventually kill a few more cows in order to get some more leather. But for now, we can run back on over and uh, continue working on the new and improved Cooking Furnace 9000 narrator thingy majiggy -er -er -er. So, more hoppers. I'm definitely gonna need a few of these. And then next up, I probably want to get this furnace down somewhere that makes sense. So let's figure out where the output of this thing is going to be. I probably want it down on this side. So maybe just right here. So this would be the chest. Uh, right back this way. Uh, and we, of course, we do have another chest. There we are. So now I just gotta find where that is upstairs. Voila! Merci beaucoup! We just did it. And that was absolutely French, and that means thank you very much. So I don't know why I just said that. But nonetheless, we have found the, uh, the finished end of the thingy majiggy that we need to build here. So we need to get the stuff into a furnace and then pooped out of the furnace down to the chest. So let's see if we can actually get this thing done. Starting off with our furnace, which can go right around here. I think that ought to be good. No, no, it needs to go down one more, I believe. So maybe right here. Yes, that ought to be good. Okay, so this is going to be, oh, 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 can't do that. It's gotta be facing down, gotta be facing down. Let's try again. So if I place it like this, is it going to be facing down? Yeah, there we go. So this one is going to go into the side of the furnace. So let's go ahead and do this really quick. There we are. And, uh, oh, now this one needs to move as well. Okay, well, hopefully I can get this right. Hopefully I can get this right in the first try here. So we'll sneak, and then we'll place it like this. So all of the hoppers should be facing another hopper. So this one goes like that, this one goes like that, and these two go down. Perfect. So this side is going to be the fuel side. Now this side is going to be the chicken side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go, um, go, ba -ba -boom. oh, I think what I got to do is I got to jump on top. Yeah, okay, so jump on top, place one right here. Now I can place one on the side, and then one more on the side of this one, and we have two extra hoppers to start working on the bottom part. So the bottom part, I just need to take this hopper and bring it down to the chest. So we'll see if we can get this done. Uh, it's gonna take a while though, uh, and I think we're gonna end up needing three more hops. I have enough iron for one, so we'll go ahead and grab some more iron later on, but that should be at least enough to check to make sure that this actually cooks. So what we'll do is uh, we'll give it a go, and we will see exactly how this thing runs. Now I will need some coal, and I also will need some raw food, so we may as well just go grab all of that, as well as the final hopper back in the basement of the church. And while I'm at it, let's say goodbye to this cow here. Please, 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 some leather, please. Did he, did he drop any leather? He did not, he did not. Well, we need to go on the search for some leather as well. Why not do that now? Just to make it a little bit faster, let's see if we can find ourselves a big old cow and we'll take him down and maybe get a few leather. I only need one, I think me, I, two, I would be happy with two. Let's see if we can get two pieces of leather, but first I gotta find a cow and that may be harder than anticipated. So far I've found chickens, I've found pig, oh! There we go, I was just about to jinx it. Well, come to me, Papa. Let's see, can I get a critical? Yes, I can, and he dropped a piece of leather. Awesome stuff. So, I will be able to label at least two parts of this build, and I guess I'll just wait to get that last piece of uh, leather, unless I find one on the way back, but I think we should be good for now. So let me chow down on some of this brand new steak I got, and uh, I'll meet you guys back in the basement of the church where we can grab the rest of the items we need. All right, so unfortunately, because my Silly self always uses this fire sword. I never actually get raw food. I never do. I never do. So I don't have any. Oh, I need to get into the water. Oh no, we're fine. Okay, I don't have any raw food. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go do this together. So I don't have any raw food. I I, I don't have any raw chicken. No raw. No raw steak. No nothing. So what I will unfortunately have to do, at least for this demonstration, is use some of the clay that I have in my inventory. I have 14 clay. So I will be using that. But keep in mind, this is really a chicken cooker. So uh, don't be too worried. It's just, uh, you know, certain circumstances. It's a shame. Oh, and let's go up here and let's finish off crafting. We need, I think, what? Three more hoppers? No, two more. 
I think two. Hopefully two, I'm pretty sure two. Yep, we only needed two more. Okay, so let's place one on the underside of this furnace. That did not work, let's get rid of that. <laughs> and then we'll place the final one facing this furnace, which, or no, facing this hopper, which should go like that. And uh, I hope this worked out. Let me just dig down here and see. Yeah, all those look like they're going the right way. Perfect. Okay, so now I think it is time to test this out and see if our theory has worked. So um, this is the fuel side, so I'll place five. Yep, five, five, da, da, da. There we go. They all went down. And then let's check out the raw side, which unfortunately I need to put clay in. But uh, whatever works, whatever works. So that goes down. Now, is it actually going? <gasps> It is. It is. Okay, so let's go down there and let's see. Let's let's go down all the way. Yeah, you, yeah, buddy. You got the idea. You got the idea, buddy. Let's take a look. Let's see if it, it goes into this chest. <gasps> it does. It does. Our contraption works. <laughs> that is awesome. Yes, jump for joy, buddy. This is the best day ever. Our contraption works. Look at how confusing this is back here. But it does. It, it does work awesome. Awesome, awesome. I am so, so, so excited. So I'll go ahead and um, I guess take, I'll just take all the items out of here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll take all the items out of here. And there is actually one thing I want to change before I get this done. And it should not affect this at all. I just want to try this. So if I put this on top, um, I think this will make it harder to see from the outside. So I don't want to be able to see the hoppers from the outside. So hopefully this will work. Now I will need to actually move this one as well. So that should do the trick though. I still think this ought to work. So now that that's done, what I want to do is fill in the sides and behind and all around the chest with stone bricks to make it look as good as possible. But I think we just about did it. I think we did. So let me fill this all up. And uh, I think with that being done, I think we've got a nice little cooker here. So now, like I said, it's just time to get rid of as much of the empty space around these blocks as you can see, so that they look nice from the outside. So let's go ahead and fill this up, get the top one, and that should be good from the back. So now all I need is enough, a, a, a little bit of light in here, I'd say, just to make sure that uh, nothing spawns back here. And uh, no redstone required, actually, just redstone contraptions. So not too big of a deal at all. No, I didn't actually use a single piece of redstone dust in this, surprisingly. Very, very cool. Okay, so let's patch up this wall and let's just see how awesome this looks from the outside. Now, the one thing I will need to do is, uh, one last thing, is just add the item frames and then just check out how awesome this looks from the outside. I'm very pleased. I am very, very pleased with this. So, let's try to put our item frames down. So, we got one right here. Uh, we can place this on there. Okay. And then another item frame we can make right here and then place it on this chest. So there we go. It's uh, nice and symmetrical and it looks great. So we'll put the uh, coal in this side. So I'll just put an item of coal so we know to put the, uh, the coal in this chest. Oh, can I actually reach the chest though? I think this may be a design flaw, folks. I don't think I can see the... I don't think I can see it. No, okay, so we will have to get rid of the item frame and the piece of coal. And I guess we'll just put the, uh, yeah, okay, here's a, here's a good idea. This is still gonna look nice and fine. We'll just put the item frames uh, right there. Ah, I see? So yeah, okay, so you'll be able to tell still. So we'll put the coal here, and then I don't have any raw food or anything like that. So for now, unfortunately, it will just have to be a piece of clay. But you guys get the gist. So. Put your stuff in. Let's try it one more time just to make sure it works. So let's get inside of the chest here. Oh, come on. Oh, I forgot. I put full blocks over it. Whoops, that's my mistake. What a noob move. <laughs> we'll try to get rid of these here. Um, and I will need to go around. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. That should do the trick. So let's go ahead and put some stairs on top of these blocks. And I think that ought to allow them to open. So we should be good to go with that change. So let's try it now. Yes, there we go. So we'll place the coal inside of this and uh, and then we will place the uh, regular raw uncooked blocks in here and let's take a look and see if this thing actually does work. Let's just hold. Oh, yeah, let's just go right straight here and let's see. So we'll get rid of this, get rid of these and let's take a look. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Let's just went all the way through, huh? Did they not cook? 
Uh-oh, I think we may be in a tree tier. Ah, that's why I had a piece of sm I had a piece of stone in there. That's why that wasn't working. So now let's run back up here and put the coal back in. I had a piece of stone, so nothing was gonna cook with the stone in there. That makes me uh that makes me feel better. Okay, so now let's see if our design works for the final time. Let's take a look. So we have three coal in here, which may have happened from earlier, but let's just hope, let's just hope. No, I think it's messed up. I think it's messed up. What's going on here? Why is this not working? I think it is the last minute change I made, and I think it's just skipping the hoppers, because I don't think the hoppers should actually be touching each other, so that is probably the issue. So what I'll do to fix this problem is I will get rid of this and just do it the way I had it before, and instead put a stair block on top. So it's not too big of a deal. I'm a little, I'm a little annoyed I have to do this, but I think it's the only way it's going to work. So let's try this again with the new and final, hopefully, technique, and uh, we'll see if we get this done. So if I place a coal inside this, and then I, ah, yep, that's how it has to work. And I'm getting a phone call, exciting. And I am missing a hopper. I don't know, what, where did one go? Hold on, wait a second, <laughs> let me get rid of this phone call. So all is well, it ended up working out in the long run. Now that is a huge pain, but hopefully if you guys uh, watched this video and built it along with me, uh, we should have had a little bit of fun. So unfortunately that's all I have for, oh those are the hoppers. That's where my missing hoppers went. Let's go ahead and finish this up then. <laughs> I was wondering where they disappeared to. So uh, yeah, let's get rid of those and uh, we'll place the hoppers inside of the underside, I mean, of the furnace. And uh, there, now we're officially done. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I will cap off the wall here and call it a day. So we did actually finish the mission, which was to complete our new and improved chicken cooker or whatever cooker. <laughs> so whatever you want to call it, there we go. A second pretty serious redstone contraption done. The redstone theater was the first one and this one is the second one and I am very pleased. The only thing I really want to do is just add a item frame with something above it or something next to it right here, just to simplify that this is the exit. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so, so, so much for sticking through this episode. It may have been a short episode. I don't know, we'll see after the editing, but this actually did take a long time to record. I have recorded for 30 straight minutes. However long this video ends up being, if it's short, I'm sorry, but I have to go. Got to do some homework. Anyways, guys, like I said, thanks so, so, so much for watching and supporting the series. I cannot wait until Thursday's episode because we have some awesome, awesome stuff to do. Thanks, guys. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.